What is it and how does it spread? Well, chlamydia is, as we explained earlier, is also a sexually transmitted diseases. It's, it's uh, caused by chlamydia trichomonas. And the, it's so common and so persistent because it's a silent disease. You could have it forever and don't know you have it. And the most likely is sometimes you get a, a clear discharge, vaginal discharge, mm -hmm. but that so many dish, for, it's so common for women to have discharges that they don't even notice that they have this. So nowadays the recommendation is that anyone gets before the age 24 gets a screen for a chlamydia infection. And it's very simple to be screened for a chlamydia infection. You could do it in urine, you could do it through a cervical swab. Why is this so important? Because the chlamydia is something that you pass from one partner to the next, especially uh, in people who have multiple sexual partners. And chlamydia, even though it does not cause any particular severe infection, it causes a lot of issues with infertility later on in life. It affects the fallopian tubes and could predispose to ectopic pregnancy and other complications that are associated with it. Yeah, I wanted to get to that too because you mentioned infertility, but there's, there's a number of complications here with chlamydia I don't think people would immediately think about. Right, exactly, especially because it's such a silent disease. It's going to cause pelvic inflammatory diseases and inflammation of the pelvic cavity. Infertility because it affects the fallopian tubes. Uh, the fallopian tubes have a cilia, which is what allows the motility of that uh, sperm to travel and the egg to travel and meet the sperm. And when that cilia gets affected somehow, it uh, predisposes to ectopic pregnancy. What happens with ectopic pregnancy? Well, ectopic pregnancies are those pregnancies that occur outside the uterus that could rupture and it's an increased risk of, of maternal mortality. As well as pregnancy complications, chlamydia infection could predispose to preterm labors. And newborn complications, well, babies are born, they use antibiotic on the eyes, and the reason is to prevent chlamydia infections. Can chlamydia, <coughs> I guess, the, we're always talking about cures. Is this something that can be cured? Yes, chlamydia is cured, as opposed to uh, any type of uh, other things that we discussed, herpes or HP, uh, HIV. Chlamydia is easily cured with an antibiotic. Citromax covers quite easy. Now, it's important that not only you get treated, but your partner gets treated, because otherwise the infection comes back.